Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Shall we rise on our feet as we enter the, the final day of Impact 2022? How many of us are happy to be able to see the last day of this year's Impact? If you believe that, come and shout hallelujah and jam those hands together for Jesus. Amen. All right, we're going, in, uh, we're going to start off the service uh, with the opening hymn. And the hymn we have is Praise Him, Praise Him. I want to invite the choir to join me on stage so that we'll be able to do the hymn together. And I encourage you, wherever you are, have a heart of appreciation, a heart of gratitude, a heart of thanksgiving. And as you have that, the Lord will accept your praises and your worship. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him.
Hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout a big hallelujah. Scripture says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us come into the house of the Lord. How many of you are excited to be in his presence this morning? Lift those hands to him. Let's bless his name this morning. Why don't you appreciate him with all your heart, with all your might, with all that is in you for all he has done so far. Let's bless his name. Let's thank him. Let's give him praise. Let's adore him. Let's magnify him. Let's thank him for visitation. Let's thank him for his presence. Let's thank him for his anointing. Let's thank him for the things he has done. He has healed people. He has helped people. He has established us. He has done us well. He has shown us his mercy. Let's thank him for this season of the manifestation of his glory. Father, we are grateful. We thank you, Lord, for all you have done from the start of this convention. Father, we are grateful. Thank you for mighty things you've done. You have taught us your word. You have established us. You have proved us. You have helped us. Thank you for awesome presence in your, I mean, awesome time in your presence yesterday. Thank you for the people you used. Father, we are extremely thankful. We are grateful. Great and mighty things you have done. This morning, as we have come again, we ask, oh God, please meet with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, for everyone that has come this morning, people have come we need, oh God. We ask as you stretch forth your hand, please meet all needs in the name of Jesus Christ. Do only what you alone can do, oh God. Lord, we ask as your word will go forth, we ask please send that word to our direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Let, let that word change us in the name of Jesus Christ. And when all is said and done this morning, may we have a testimony that we have met with you. And only Jesus alone will be seen and only Jesus alone will be glorified. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Let's put those hands together for Jesus this morning. Let's put those hands together for the Lord Jesus. Come on, put those hands together for the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. It's the grand finale of this convention. Come on, rejoice and put those hands together for the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, church. We're going to take the Bible reading, the prophet prophetic Bible reading together this morning. It's from the book of Psalms, Psalms 29. We are following also um, for our Bible reading challenge. We're doing the book of Psalms this month um, and throughout the, the rest of the year. And that's the, actually the, the word for today. Psalm 29. So if you have not been joining, this is the 29th day. You can always start today. Amen. So let's all read it together, rejoicing. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory that is due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon and Zirion like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord maketh the hands to carve, the hands to carve, and discovereth the forest. And in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. The Lord seated upon the flood, yea, the Lord seated king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. 
Amen. Come on, scream the voice of the Lord. 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 As we run this up, this convention up, I don't know what the voice of the Lord, what you want the voice of the Lord to do for you. But I pray for you this morning that God himself will speak unto those situations and the voice of the Lord will make peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Happy convention, everyone. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am not testing this microphone. Praise the Lord, somebody. Yes, is somebody excited this morning? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Begin to say sweet things to God. Express yourself in the Holy Ghost if you can. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are the world of the beginning. One with the Your hidden glory in creation now revealed in you across. What a beautiful name it is! What a beautiful name it is! The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. You didn't want heaven without us. Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great. Great. 
Lord, you're worthy of the glory and the honor. Your not a man 
your promises are yay and amen. You're not a man, you never lie. for the nations. Hallelujah. And we are using the United States, our Jerusalem, our domain. Hallelujah. As the point of contact, praise the Lord. Amen. Psalms 33 and verse 12. Scripture says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Hallelujah. Like we all know, this nation was established Upon scriptures, hallelujah, the men that formed this nation, they formed it on their knees, praying. Why? Because they were running away from all of the evils they saw in the places they were coming from. Hallelujah. But this morning, we are going to pray. Scripture says, you know, that remove not the ancient landmark. Don't remove it. Don't change it. Hallelujah. If we see anything that is an aberration against what was in the beginning, then we have to pray and ask that God remove them. Praise the Lord. So this morning, before we start, we are going to quickly give God thanks again for this great nation. Open your mouth and just bless him. Bless his holy name for his help, for his grace, for his favor, for his hand of mercy upon this nation, for his grace, for all that he has done for this nation. He has blessed this nation. He has made it prosperous. And in it, you have your peace. In it, you have your prosperity. In it, you have your upliftment. Open your mouth and say, Father, we give you praise. We give you thanks. We exalt your holy name. 
We have come today to say thank you for all that you have done for the United States of America. We thank you for all of the foundations. Thank you for all of the institutions. Thank you for all of the mechanisms that are working on our door to keep the people safe. We have come to say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. And this morning, we are going to pray, committing the leadership. Scripture says that, you know, in the hearts of a child, abounds foolishness. And his word went ahead to say that woe unto that nation whose king is a child. Why? Because in the heart of a child, foolishness exists. And, you know, the labor of a fool weariates everyone because he does not know how to get to the city gate. What does that mean? When leadership is sick, everybody suffer. Let's open our mouth and pray this morning for our leaders, for all of those in authority. Open your mouth and pray that God will incline their hearts to his will. Our God will cause their heart to walk after his own wisdom in the name of Jesus. Pray for the president. Pray for all of the governors. Pray for the senators. Pray for all of the county members. Everyone that is in authority, in the private sector, in the public sector, open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. That every direction that is taken, that will not bring the people to the promised land, that God will change it in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. And lastly, we are going to pray. You know, this nation is in the business of uplifting other nations, supporting other nations, you know, giving aids to people around. We are going to pray. The devil doesn't like that. That is the truth. He wants everybody to continue in poverty, in sickness, in illness. Let's open our mouth and pray this moment and say every gang up of darkness against this nation to crumble the economy, to frustrate the government, to frustrate the people, to inflict pain, to cause war, to cause trouble, to cause hardship. Open your mouth and pray and say, Jehovah Lord God, we come against them by the power of the Holy Ghost. We scatter all their bounds. We come against all their strategies, their devices, their weaponry in the name of Jesus. As this word says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every arrow shot against this nation, we return them back to sender. Every tongue raising against this nation, we come against them by the judgment of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Every hidden that have risen up against this nation to cast spell, to cast evil against this nation, we break their bounds in the name of Jesus. And lastly, pray that the peace of the Lord will reign upon this nation. The blessings of the Lord will be upon this nation. The health of God will be upon this nation in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, we give you all the praise. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Come on, if you're clapping, you can do better. Come on, if you're clapping, you can do better. Hallelujah. Come on, scream, manifestation of his glory. Amen. Please take your seat in God's presence. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Good morning, good morning, family. Thank you for joining us today. For those that are wash worshiping with us from all our social media platforms, um, we want to say thank you. Thank you for joining us. Can you please let us know where you're watching from? Put it in the chat. If you're watching, worshiping from um, uh, anywhere in the, in the nation, can you please put it down on the screen, let us, on the chat? Let us know that. Uh, amen. Amen. This is the grand finale of this program. The Lord has been faithful from day one up till this moment. If you're clapping, come on, clap. I don't know about you, but God has done wonders. Testimonies have started to come in. We want to give God praise because he has indeed manifested his glory. And he will do yours today in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you do me a favor and just welcome someone next to you? Make sure you ask for their name. If I don't tell you my name, my name is Pastor Jumi. My assignment here is to tell you that you are in the right place, to get you comfortable, to get you comfortable. As I get you comfortable, I want to get you, I want to make sure you are uncomfortable. So turn around and just say hello to somebody. Say hello, what is your name? I just told you my name. So hello, what is your name? Hello, what is your name? Good morning. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. I see a lot of 
great, great conversations. Amen. You might be talking to your next, um, mm, mm, you know, it's an opportunity. I'm giving you an opportunity. God is giving you an opportunity to meet somebody. Amen. Amen. Brother Aki, who did you connect with today? Your wife? Okay. So can you tell us what is her name? Emily. Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn. Sister Evelyn, what is his name? I just gave it to you right there. Don't look at it. I just called him by his name. Hakin. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Tonight, today's I Connect is going to be really connecting. Come on, say it's going to be grace today. It's going to be sound connecting. So please don't rush home. We've got food for you. We got a food truck connecting you to where what you need and also connecting our children today. Amen. And we've got those, you know, I'm going to leave that one as a as a surprise when you get outside. Amen. I want to leave that as a surprise. Again, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to say welcome. Do I have anyone? Today is your first time of being part of this worship and of this part of this service and of being part of this family. If you are like that, can you please wave? Anyone, anyone, anyone? Today is your first time. Or maybe you came during the week and you have not been recognized. Can you do me a great favor? It would be an honor for you to just stand up. We just, want to, we just want to appreciate you. Come on, come on. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come on, CFKC. Show them those love. Come on, come on. Show them those love. Where, come on, we've got love. Show them those love. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. You look like us. We'll be honored to call you your pastors. And so at the end of the service, we're going to give you a special gift. So I want to encourage you as pastor welcomed you at the end of the service. Please come forward at that time and we'll be able to celebrate you better. And for those of our family members that are coming that we haven't seen for a long time, that we are seeing today, we... Mwah. Love you. We love you. We love you. If you have not joined us, today is the day 29 that we are doing the book of Psalms. Day 29 today, we studied Psalm 29. And you are saying, no, Pastor Jumi, really? I think I stopped at Psalm 20. Psalm 20. That's okay. Oh, Pastor Jumi, I have not really started at all. Don't worry. You can join us. I want to encourage you. The word of the Lord is powerful. The word of the Lord is powerful. Take time to study the word. Join us as we continue to study the book of Psalms. Again, family, happy convention. So, so good to be part of this great family. And I see you at the top. I cannot wait for my flow to start blowing up for your testimonies of manifestation of God's glory. Happy convention. God bless you. Shout hallelujah. You love Jesus, scream hallelujah. You are going from glory to glory, shout hallelujah. Say to your neighbor, say neighbor. Come on, talk to your neighbor, say neighbor. I am going from glory to glory. I can't hear say, I am going from glory to glory. I don't know about you. I say, I don't know about you. I am going from glory to glory. There are times you don't come to God as a group. You come as one. They will say, the Lord is mine, not our shepherd. You may have other shepherd, but me, the Lord is my shepherd. He didn't say goodness and me shall follow us. What did he say? Goodness and me shall follow me. There are some things you must come to God very personal. And this meeting is a personal meeting. The Bible says, the man, Jacob, said to the Lord, if thou, through the angels, if thou do not bless me, not bless us, bless me, I will not let you go. Stand to your feet. Let's give thanks to Jesus for what he has done. Then we bring our servant up to speak.
Lift your hands to him, everyone. Thank him for the glory rising upon you. The Bible said, Arise, shine, the light is come, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Lift your hands with me and say, My Father. I can't hear. Come and say, My Father. I thank you for your glory that is rising upon my life. Come on, go ahead and thank you very quickly. Open your mouth and thank him for his glory that is rising already. You may not see it, but it's rising. It's rising. It's rising. It's rising. You are breathing, though we don't see the air, you are breathing. So you may not see the glory, but it's already rising. It's already rising. Somebody bless the Lord. For your glory rising upon me, upon my family, upon this your precious people, upon their family upon your church Lord the glory is rising the glory is rising the glory is rising is rising is rising thank you for the rising of your glory thank you for moving us from glory to glory we bless your name of God 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 because our lives we never remain the same we thank you Lord somebody go ahead and thank you for what he's been doing in this convention we thank you Jesus we glorify Glorify your name. Membra kamasototo. Nekrovashita rebate. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please say better and louder. Amen. Amen. This convention is not just meant to give us blessings. It's meant to make us become somebody different. The greatest encounter with God does not give you things. It makes you become. When Peter met him as a fisherman, he turned him to fishers of men. Whatever this glory ought to make you, you are going to thank God for it. Thank you for what this glory will make me, oh God. Thank you for what this glory will make my family and your church. Raise your two hands with me and say, my father. I can't hear you. Come and say, my father. Come and say, my father. I thank you for what your glory will make me. What a glory we make my family and your church. Somebody give him thanks very quickly. To God be the glory. For what your glory will make me, Lord. For what your glory will make my family. For what your glory will make your church and your people. This your precious people. Thank you for what your glory will turn us into. We thank you, Jesus. Bless be your name of God. Lift up your hands, him everyone with me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, let the earth is for. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, with a people rejoice. Oh God, to the Father, true Jesus.
for Jesus, everyone. Come on, clap, 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 clap. Clap with excitement. Come on. Clap with excitement. God is a good God to us. Shout hallelujah. I said shout hallelujah. One of the reasons why I determined to praise God. One day I was speaking at a conference. And the Lord said to me, tell the people to praise me. Of course, I agree with him. Is that because there are two ways you praise me? And that you praise me yourself or somebody do it on your behalf. And a sneak in the world that changed my life. Even when people die, they still do service of song. I would rather praise God myself. Is there somebody who want to praise God themselves this morning? Lift your hands to heaven. Thank him for what he has done for you. This is the beginning of a new year for the church. This is the beginning of a new month for you. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Wave your hands to him. Appreciate him. There's nothing you are going through that was not thanking for. Somebody bless the Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We give you all the glory. Bless him, your name. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Hallelujah. About 23 years ago, we were privileged to serve in the church. I've always told you, don't embrace a man's glory until you have had their story. Twenty-three years ago, I was the assistant pastor, or what other people call as a pastor, for this great man of God. That's why I said to you, everyone without a root you risk, risk the risk of your future. You cannot serve faithfully and accept God to lift you. Jesus himself said, if you serve me, my father will honor you. But this Jesus, we don't see with our eyes. So he put men in our life to serve. So that through serving on those you see, you can serve the person you are not seeing. James asked a question, if you don't love the man you see, how do you say you love a man that you have not seen? We did what God enabled us to do. But since this work began 22 years ago, we refused to disconnect. Don't be too great to disconnect from those who help you at your beginning. Are you following what I'm saying? While serving, I wasn't born here. This was a man God used to file for me. I'm a citizen now, 22 years ago. Many of the people that I've known that God has used to lift us in life, I met them through him. So, when we celebrate him, we are celebrating a fruitful relationship. Don't be a user, serve people. Serve. When we're doing what we're doing, we didn't know today we'd be like this. I'm sure his heart is glad to see what God is doing with CFKC Foundation. Listen, it's not a guest to you. Is your grandfather, but is my pastor. And with joy this morning, of KC Foundation Nations, as we conclude the 22nd anniversary and our annual impact, with Jesus' joy, 
receive to the mic, Pastor Tola Udu Tola. Put your hands together for Jesus. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Before we sit down, I want us to know that it's, it's, it's God's blessing that makes you think about something and then your body does it. You know, um, if you want to go to the bathroom and you're seated and you say, oh, I need to go to the bathroom, then what do you do? You get up and you go to the bathroom. There are many who want to go, but they can't get up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So when we say clap your hands, there are many who want to clap their hands, but something has happened, and they cannot clap those hands. Come on. I wish somebody. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. I'm telling you. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Come on. It's a blessing. One more blessing. The mom of one of our daughters in Baltimore wanted to travel to America. And a day before she boarded the plane, she said, I can't feel my leg. When somebody says they can't feel their leg, they're having stroke. They're on their way out. She said, I can't feel my hand. I can't feel my leg. It means that something is happening. You can feel your hand. You can feel your leg. You can feel your whole body. I wish somebody can shout with a shout of triumph, with a shout of gratefulness. Come on. You can feel your whole body. You can feel your head. You can feel your leg. You can carry yourself. Somebody shout glory. Father, we want to thank you. Our gathering. This weekend has been unto you. We ask, O oh Lord, that your word will lighten our paths. By your spirit, you will give us understanding. Anoint me afresh, O oh Lord, that I will speak as your mouthpiece. That by the time we live here, our testimony will have been, we have met with you. Thank you, almighty God. For in Jesus' precious name, we have worshipped. Before we take your seats, please can we appreciate Pastor Shola and Pastor Jubin? Come on, let's appreciate them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, let's be seated. Praise the Lord. I don't think I need to say this, but anytime I come to Minnesota, I, I don't see it as uh, being a guest minister. For me, I've come home. Amen? I, and I want you to believe me with all your heart. I'm telling you, and God is my witness. There is nothing that I want more than this church to be a testimony, not only in Minnesota, but throughout the entire United States. Is anybody hearing me? Praise the Lord. We started a teaching on Friday manifestation of his glory. I want us to look at Isaiah 60. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Which is where the theme of this conference came from. It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. It is the glory that makes the light to show up. The glory. The word glory we said means weight, something that is weighty. 
We say it's praise. It is honor and thanksgiving. The word glory could mean distinguished quality. Distinguished quality. It means great beauty and splendor. Hallelujah. In order for us to see the manifestation, to experience this glory, we need to understand some things about glory. One of the major challenges of the church today, for me, is lack of wisdom and lack of understanding. We shout, we pray, we praise, but at times, even in the praise, some people lack understanding of why we praise God. Praise the Lord. I've seen people get married because they are getting old, but they have no understanding what marriage is about. <laughs> it is not age that determines when somebody marries. I'm telling you, it's having an understanding of what it takes to be married. Praise the Lord. Not too long ago, I was counseling a couple in our church, and I said to them, I said to the girl, I said, you, you took a long time before you got married. Look at the kind of fight we are fighting now. Which means all the time we are praying for you, you are not ready. I said, it's not the kind of fight, you see. You can't be 40 years old and, 40 years old and get married, and you are fighting over uh, the gutter is uh, dirty. For 40 years. That was a good period of training and instruction and having an understanding of what it takes to be mature in having a relationship. Is anybody hearing me right now? So what we need to see this manifestation is understanding. That's why Solomon said that wisdom is the principal thing. He said, therefore, get it. He now went for that. He said, but in all you're getting, get what? Understanding. Number one, what is it about glory? Glory belongs to God. Glory belongs to God. In Isaiah 42, verse 8, Isaiah 42, verse 8, Scripture says, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another, nor my praise to carved images. We sing that song every day. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. But we'll see later, even in scripture, that when God decides to, he can share his glory with us. Because the glory of God is the heritage of the believer. Somebody say amen. amen. In Psalm 24, verse 7. Psalm 24, from verse 7 to 8. 10, rather. He said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, be everlasting door. That the king of glory shall come in. He said, who is this king of glory? He said, the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. He said, lift up your gates again, O ye gates. Lift up your everlasting door. That the king of glory might come in. He said, who is this king of glory? He is the Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. May I speak to somebody today. Whatever gates has been standing against you, against your destiny, I declare they shall be lifted up in the name of Jesus. In knowing that God is the king of glory, we must also know that he can decide to partake, we, of this glory. Because in Colossians 1, verse 27, Colossians 1, 27, he said to them, God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of the mystery among the Gentiles, which is what? Christ in you, the hope of what? How many have Christ in them today? Which means the glory of God is upon you. If you believe that, say a good amen to that. Amen. You know, when you allow God to be your glory, there are some things that follow you naturally. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying. God instructed me to pray Isaiah 60 on every one of us, including myself. So when we get to that point, we will do it. Number two, number two, understanding about glory. Is that glories can be different. <laughs> glories can be different. 1 Corinthians 15, 41. 1 Corinthians 15, 41 says, There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, 
another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in what? It is lack of understanding that makes a man envy another person because of what they have. It's lack of understanding. There's a glory of the sun. There's a glory of what? Of the moon. And there's a glory of what? Of the stars. The gifting that God has given Pastor Shola is not for me to be envious about it because I carry my own gifting. You must understand that. That's why the Bible says that we should not compare ourselves to others because those that do so, they are not wise. They are not wise. They are not wise. I rejoice and I thank God for your life. But believe me, I'm walking in my glory. Is anybody hearing me? Is anybody hearing me? In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, Paul was talking about two types of glory. And we can read that scripture later. From verses 7 to 11. He was talking about the glory of the Old Testament and the glory of the New Testament. And in that scripture, Paul was saying that no matter how glorious the old was, it cannot be compared to the new. That's why Jesus said concerning John the Baptist, he said, for everyone born of a woman, there is none like John the Baptist. He said, but the least in the kingdom of God is greater. He's talking about another glory. <laughs> hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jacob, when he was about to die, remember, 12 children, and he called them and Jacob began to pray, to bless his children, to tell them what was going to happen. Because of our time, you can look at Genesis 49 and read it. And one by one, Jesus, I mean Jacob brother, was telling them what was going to happen to them. He was praying for them. The challenge is this. If they knew they had such future, why did they conspire against Joseph. The glory they were, the Bible says that the scepter shall not depart from Shiloh until Judah comes. Listen to me. Judah, why would you conspire against somebody when you yourself, you know where you are going? Esau said to Jacob, he said, whatever you have brought, hold it to yourself. Because God has blessed me. Oh, is anybody hearing me? You know, where I come from, there is a saying that you don't enjoy eating food with people if one does not have. If we come to the table and we say, let's eat together, it's not because we don't have what we cannot provide for ourselves. We have. It's just the joy of fellowship that we're sharing with each other. <laughs> Is anybody hearing me? That's why I'm not going to come to church and be fighting over food. There's enough food at home. Even if there's not enough food at home, on the way to the house, there's enough food there. Hey, is anybody hearing me right now? I'm talking about glory. The glory of the sun is different from that of the moon and is different from that of the star. That's why every one of us, you are believing God for different things at the same time. And God is able to manifest that because he is the El Shaddai God. Hallelujah. If you keep on moving, you will surely see glory. I said you will surely see glory. I said you will surely see glory. I said you will surely see glory. Oh, I said you will surely see glory. Number three, having an understanding about glory is that glory can be seen. Glory, I repeat, can be seen. It can be seen. Uh, it is visible. Thank you. Because John chapter one, John chapter one, from verses one to five, it says that in the beginning was the word. 
The word was with God, and the word was God. Note that. It was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. Without him, nothing that was made was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness, and darkness could not comprehend it. Verse 14 now. Verse 14. This word now became what? Flesh. And dwelt amongst us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten Son of God, full of grace and of truth. There is a glory that rises up on you that you don't need to announce to people that you have arrived. They see it on you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It is because some of you, you are yet to have the kind of money that you are praying for. When that money comes, nobody will teach you how to walk. The way you walk. This one that you are doing, it's because you are still broke. I'm, t- I'm telling you the truth right now. You don't see, you don't see rich people doing gra gra the way you are doing it. No, no. Because the money is speaking. No matter what they wear, the money is what? It's speaking. Glory can be seen. Can be seen. Hallelujah. Why fight with my spouse? For breaking the glass cup. Should the first thing I'll be asking is, I hope you are okay. I hope we are okay. Thank God that this thing did not break on your legs. You are broken it. It's poverty. It's poverty that makes a man shout when he's not supposed to shout and ask after the welfare of his children or his wife. Is anybody hearing me right now? Somebody say, God, show me your glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I learned a long time ago, and God is my witness, that I don't fight my wife over what she buys. My prayer is God. Continue to provide for me. Stop fighting. Hallelujah. (laughs) Oh, Lord, have mercy. I I went (laughs) to to counsel (laughs) a couple. And throughout almost one hour of counseling, it was fight over money. Ah. I left the pain place. I was pained. Honestly, I was pained. Because I like the couple. They are good people. So I just put my hands on the tire of the man. I said, see me tomorrow. He didn't know what I wanted to talk to him. I said, don't bring yourself down again. Stop fighting your wife about money. Go and make more money. You will see that this thing will change. Honestly, he left my office not happy. But he came back three months later. He said, Pastor, ah, things have changed. I said, what happened? He said, more money. And I see my wife change. It's not only love that preserves marriages. Money also can preserve marriage. Let the women that understand what I'm saying say amen. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Glory can be seen. I know you speak in tongues, but I'm telling you, there are some things that what you need to do is just say, go and buy it, don't worry. (laughs) Honestly, I'm telling you what I practice life anytime I travel for me it is to rest because once I'm away from Baltimore that's when I can sleep very well so when we get to wherever we're going I remind my wife that are you not going out to shop (laughs) because I know that when she goes she's going to go for some hours and I will get the sleep that I want. It's not about the money 
that she's spending. Because of what use is money if I'm not alive also to spend it. That's why I need to rest. So I said, you, you can go and spend the money. And she looks at me and says, are, are, you, are you sure? I said, it's okay. You can go. She does not know that it's not about her spending. It's about my having time to be able to rest. Somebody says, God, show me your glory. First John chapter 1. I'm going somewhere this morning. First John chapter 1. Verse 1 says, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, somebody say number one, which we have seen with our eyes, say number two, which we have looked upon, say number three, and our hands have handled it concerning the word of God. I'm preaching this morning about manifestation of God's glory which we have heard. By the time you hear, you must not stop at hearing. You must see it. There is a measure of God's blessing that he allows you to see that you don't need to be convinced by anybody that that side of God exists. He now says that which your hands have also touched, 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 touched. I, I, you know, I love reading biographies of, of successful men and women. And in the biography of a man that many of us know, Aliko Dangote is his name, and he was interviewed one day. He said he did not know that he was rich until one day he went to the, to the bank and he withdrew $10 million dollars. How can you withdraw $10 million and your hand will not touch it? Touch it. I'm talking about touching it. I'm talking, can you do your hand like this? The blessing of God can be touched. It can not only be seen, it can be what? Touched. Not only can it be touched, but you can taste it. Because the scripture says, taste and see that the Lord is good. This year, I say to somebody, you will see the glory of God. Oh, I said you will see the glory of God. Your hand will touch the glory. You will taste the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody say better. Amen. amen. Let's be seated. In Job chapter 1, God saw the devil going back and forth. Is there a where are you forming from? He said, I'm just going, trying to check out who I can mess up and all that. And I just said, have you considered my servant Job? Look at what Satan said. Glory can be seen. In verse 8, he said, have you considered my servant Job? That there is none like him on the earth. A blameless and upright man who fears God and shuns evil. Satan answered the Lord and said, does Job fear God for nothing? He says, you have not made, have you not made a edge around him, around his household, around all that he has on every side. You have blessed the works of his hands and his possession have increased in the land. Glory can be, even the devil saw the glory of God on Job. Oh, may men see God's glory upon you in the name of Jesus. Number four. Number four. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Not is that not only can glory be seen, but glory can also depart or be lost. Yeah, yeah. Glory can be lost and it can depart. <laughs> ah. For glory to depart, it means that person becomes a shadow of what they were created for. For glory to depart, it means that somebody is operating in less capacity or potential that God created them for. <laughs> 
For glory to depart, it means that somebody is less than what they used to be. Glory to depart. There used to be a man in Nigeria. If I mention his business, I'm sure many of you know him. But after a while of spending anyhow, of going all over the place, the glory left. And I got a call. Somebody that knows me very well. He said, do you know so, so, and so? I said, I remember him. I said, he was your benefactor. Why? Because he was the one giving this, my friend, a lot of business. And he made money out of him. He said, he needs our help. I said, when you got the business, you are the only one that spent the money. <laughs> I said, if he needs help now, he needs help from, from you. But to call the bottom time, I sent some money. And the man called me. I was humbled. Because a big man is not a small boy. Ah, he was one of the big boys. He called me as a pastor. Thank you. I said, for how much? I'm talking about somebody that had money. Glory can be lost. In 1 Samuel chapter 4. 1 Samuel chapter 4. Talking about Eli. After his sons had messed up. The daughter-in-law, Phineas's wife, or with the child. I'm reading verse 19 now. And due to be delivered, and when she had the news that the ark of God had been captured, and her father-in-law and her husband, they were dead. She bowed herself and gave birth. For her labor pains were upon her. About the time of the death, the woman who stood by her said, Do not fear, for you have born a son. And she did not answer, and she did not regard it. Then she named the child Ichabod. The meaning of Ichabod is that the glory has departed from Israel. Why? Because the ark of God has been captured of her father-in-law and her husband. And she said, the glory has departed from Israel, for the ark of the Lord has departed. Are you in church today or you're watching online? You think the glory is there, but the glory has departed. Something said, I will arise as before. He didn't know. You used to be somebody that can fast and pray. When was the last time you joined the 5 a.m. prayer meeting of this church? You don't miss every party. But the vigil is not on your playbook. The glory has departed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I have seen people who are on fire for God only to be entangled with sin and all of a sudden they have become a shadow of themselves. The glory has departed. Everybody, including me, you must learn to protect the glory of God that you carry. Because this glory can be lost and it can also depart. Phineas' wife said, the name of this boy is what? Ichabod. Why? Because the glory of God has departed Israel. Departed Israel. Hallelujah. You used to be an example of a believer, but now nobody can point to you that you're a Christian. Ah, it's not good. 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 The dress you wear to church is different from the one you show on Instagram. When we see you on Instagram, we are ashamed of you. That can this be a Christian? 
the kind of dress that you are wearing. You are showing everything that people don't need to sleep with you to have slept with you. You've shown it. Oh, Lord. May God's glory not depart from your life in the name of Jesus. Oh, I wish somebody can say a better amen. God ordained Saul to be king over Israel. But when it got to a point, God did not matter to him again. God said, go and totally destroy the Amalekites. Well, you know the story, 1 Samuel 15. What did Saul do? Saul went there, destroyed them, but then he kept the king. And he also kept some animals. Because he said he wanted to sacrifice unto God. And God has to say that, as the Lord, great passion or delight in burnt offering than in obedience because obedience is better than sacrifice. Disobedience leads people for glory to depart. Disobedience. Ah. I love what God said to Samuel said to him. Let's read it from verse 17, 1 Samuel 15. He said, so Samuel said, when you are little in your own eyes, were you not the head of the tribes of Israel? And did the Lord not anoint you king over Israel? Israel. <laughs> Praise God. Many times I call people in our church just to, to see where they are. So we're not seeing you in church again. You say, Pastor, you know, you know. <laughs> I said, we have seen people like you before. I said, I remember when you came home. You had nothing. And you were at every prayer meeting. Now God has blessed you. You don't have time for God again. And COVID has also helped you. All you do now is online. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. I hope somebody watching online, you are listening to me. You better concentrate on the word of God and stop going up and down preparing food. It's time for you to focus on the word. Because this word will do you good. I said, this word will do you good. Is anybody hearing me? There are many times as believers, we offer sacrifice more than obedience. And God is saying, all I need is your obedience. Leave the sacrifice. Leave what? The sacrifice. Because obedience is better than what? Glory can be lost. Number five, and this is the last point. Glories can be generational. Yeah, generational glory. I'm telling you, <laughs> generational glory. Ah, thank you, Jesus. The plan of God is to bless not only us, but our children also. Many times I've wondered how some people have been able to achieve this. And I'll see a business, they say, set up in 1956. And you go into the business. It might be a tailoring business that they make suits that many of them in UK. They, they, they started in 1940-something. And you are talking, and the guy is saying, my great-great-grandfather started this business. And you are doing it. Ah. There is no point in you being rich and your children finish everything when you die. I'm talking about generational glory. glory. When God introduces himself, he says, I'm the God of Abraham, I'm the God of Isaac, and I'm also the God of what? He's also the God of Joseph. Hallelujah. I'm talking about generational blessing. Growing up, there were some names in Nigeria where I grew up from. They were synonymous with money. We have not seen their children up to now. We have, we have, we don't even, their, their great-grandchildren, we don't even know whether they exist. Amen. 
mention one of the names now. It's called Darocha. It's called Ezibakari. What happened to them? What happened to their children? The money ended with them. Oh, may the blessing of God over you not end with you. May this blessing transfer to your generations after you. I wish somebody can say a better amen. Blessings, glory can be generational. Psalm 115 verse 14. Psalm 115 verse 14. <laughs> David said, may the Lord give you increase more and more. He said, you and what? Your children. Your children. Your children. Your children. When we look at the story of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for each of the generations, the blessing was greater than the former. Than the former. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a message that I've preached for at least eight weeks in our church. Because the problem of this message is amongst us, people of color. And especially if you are an African. Because there is something about the African culture which is bad. Is that your father goes through something and he refuses to tell you. Even though you know he's sick, he will not tell you what he's going through. It's the problem. It's the African problem. You know, that's culture of secrecy. There are many Africans that have died. And their wives did not know where their properties were. Because you hid everything. Look at your life. The person that didn't work for it is not the one enjoying it. What kind of life is this? Till my father died, he never told us his problem. Medically. But he didn't know I had spoken to his doctor. I said, what is wrong with him? He said he has a heart problem. And that was what he dealt with for at least 10 years before he died. But he never told anybody. This is a nonsense African culture. A culture that you cannot sit your children down and say, this is how I made money. Because if you are going to pass it down, you must let them understand the source of your wealth. Is anybody hearing me right now? I'm telling you what I don't practice. I'm not telling you what I don't practice. I say to my children, every time I make an investment, I tell them. And I ask them. I say, I want to make this investment. You go and bring $5,000. You go and bring $3,000. do not worry. When we are selling off the investment, your portion, including your capital and your profit, will be returned back unto you. They've seen it many times that it works. So hardly now do they do any business without talking to me first. They say, what do you think about this? Because we are trying to put money together to do this. It's not about leaving money for them when I pass. It is about them knowing what to do with the money I leave when I pass. Because if we don't teach them, there's no way they can know. It's the same thing. That even though our children are in the house, we don't even teach them about marriage. We don't. We don't. My son said to me, he said, I've watched you and you have spoken so much that now that I'm married, I feel like I've married my mom. I said, oh boy, you need help right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. He said, Dad, I know. I said, you need help. <laughs> I said, you need help. Part of the help is patience. Part of the help make good money. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. Oh, oh, praise the Lord. 
Is anybody hearing me today? Come on, I say, praise the Lord. Come on, I say, praise the Lord. If curses can run over generation, blessing can run over generation. Hallelujah. You know, Pastor Shola is the firstborn of our spiritual family. I don't think there is anything that I'm doing or I've done in ministry that I've not told him. The reason for that is that he doesn't get somewhere and feels like he's stranded. He might not be there today for the issue, but at least somebody has told him so that when he gets there, he says, this is familiar. This is familiar. Is anybody hearing what I'm talking about? Jesus, before he left, he passed his anointing to the disciples. He even said to them, the things I do now you can do. He said, even greater works than this shall you do also. Elijah passed a double portion of his anointing to Elisha. How come Elisha could not pass it to Gehazi, even though the boy offended him? He could still have passed it down. Is anybody hearing me? I'm talking about glories or wealth can be generational, can be generational. There's a guy in our church now that God has blessed tremendously. <laughs> the business they are running. Their son is in college studying the business. The young boy is 21 years old. Already he knows he's a part owner of the business. It is only Africans that do business and our children don't partake of it. What's wrong with us? When you go to a Chinese restaurant, even though their son is studying medicine, is in that restaurant serving, washing dishes, packing all that, is studying medicine. What they are saying to him is that perhaps you decide not to go the way of medicine. There is something that we are going to give you. It is called legacy. It's called legacy. It's called legacy. Hallelujah. Is anybody hearing me right now? It's time for us to begin to empower our children so that they can take this thing to many, many, many generations. Yeah. Generations. Hallelujah. I wish somebody is here. This is my burden. I'm, it's a burden for me. And why is it a burden for me? Because my grandfather was mega rich. First time the queen went to Nigeria, she slept in my father's house, my grandfather's house. The queen knew. Because my grandfather was queen's dad's friend. The money stopped at that generation. This is why you will see big churches. When the founder dies, the anointing stops there. I can tell you the names of these churches. You know them. Some of us, we've gone to those churches before coming to CFTC. That's why the CAC prays in the name of Babalola. As soon as Babalola dies, fight. As soon as Oshofa died, the celestial church, boom. Why? 
Because people have made what can be taught to become mystery. Oh, he, he, you can't do this thing unless you are fasted 40 days and 40 Excuse me, sir. When you started, you did not fast 40 days and 40 nights now. Huh? Let's start from somewhere. Let's start from somewhere. Hallelujah. That's why what Pastor Shela was talking about, that if you don't know somebody's story, don't really talk about their glory. Because you see, you can come into a church like this, and as you guys are moving into your new building, you know, new members show up. They will think it's always been like that. But you know where you are coming from. Is anybody hearing me? That's why if God has blessed you, and only what your children know now is God's blessing, you should teach them that it's not always been like that. But how we got here, this is how we got here. If we got here, you too can get here, and you too can go beyond. Rise on your feet. Rise on your feet this morning. Rise on your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. We are going to pray. We are going to be praying. Glory can be seen. It can be touched. You can taste it. You can taste it. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, if you have walked around some big boys, you will know that you have not started. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The kind of money they're talking about, and I say, ah, are you talking about cowries or real money? <laughs> say, What's wrong with you? You're talking real money here. Ah. That's when you know you have not started, though. <laughs> Lift your voice and your hands and say, Father. Come and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, show me your glory. Manifest your glory in my life. Come on, go ahead and begin to pray right now. Begin to pray right now. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Gagaboria. Manga bo se tebolia. Lega bagalea mo shata balia. Eka pata balia. Ende bo satebolia. Come on, somebody pray, 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 pray. Father, show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are prayed. The children of Israel were praying. They said, We've eaten enough meat, we are tired. We want to eat some other kind of food. God said, Don't worry, Moses. He rained manna from heaven. And when they looked at it, the meaning of manna is, What is this? <laughs> that was one side of God showing them his glory. You are going to pray for what is this miracle? What is this glory? That people, when they hear it, they will say, ah, ah, only God can do this. You are going to lift up and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, you rained manna from heaven for the children of Israel. Father, rain, what is this kind of miracle of my life? In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody pray right now. Pray right now. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. What is this kind of miracle? Oh Lord. Let heavens be opened unto me, oh Lord. Open the heavens unto me, Almighty God. Open the heavens unto my children.
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to tell you a story and then we'll pray. Many years ago, a young man in our church came to me after service. He said, Pastor, he said, I hear you when you say that you are the one that gives the highest, you and your wife, in this church every year. He said, Pastor, I want to let you know, by God's grace, next year, I will give more than you. I said, praise God. Let us pray. And we prayed. True story. When he told me he was selling shoes at Payless, I don't think there is room for liars to go to heaven. So I want you to know that what I'm saying, I'm not telling you a story. The following year, when I looked through the giving sheet, The money this boy gave, and I'm talking, this is 2022, maybe 15 years ago. He gave over a hundred thousand dollars. I called him. I said, Where did you get the money from? Oh. He said, Pastor. He said, You prayed now. I said, I know I prayed. But how did God make it? He started a business. And in that year, their turnover was well over a million dollars. In the first year. In the first year. The young man, the young man I'm talking about today, <laughs> Lord have mercy, he has grown and the business <sighs> is something else. God is not a respecter of persons. I'm telling you. God was watching his heart. As soon as he made that commitment, ah, God said this is a good heart to bless. Hallelujah. You are going to pray to God that between now and next year's convention, oh, there must be a remarkable difference. So I'm not talking about just struggling or just, uh, mm, there must be what? A remarkable difference. Lift your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, between now and next year's convention, let your glory permeate every area of my life. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. Come on, let's say better amen. Now, I want you to rise on your feet wherever you are. God impressed it upon my heart to pray Isaiah 60 over you. And I want you wherever you are, you're at home, you're watching, or you're at work, or you're on the road, or you're listening, wherever you are, I want your amen to sound like thunder. From today, you will arise, shine. The light of God will rest upon you. The glory of God will rise upon you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will arise over you. His glory will be seen upon you. Gentiles will come to your light. The king to the brightness of your rising. In the name of Jesus, lift up your eyes around you and see. They will all gather together. They will come to you. I said, your son and your daughter, they will come from afar. Your daughter shall be known as your sight. You will see and you become radiant. Your heart will swell with joy. 
the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles will come to you. Multitude of camels shall come to you. In the name of Jesus, they will bring you gold and incense. They will proclaim the praise of God. In the name of Jesus, all the flocks of America, they will gather to you. They shall minister to you. In the name of Jesus, God will glorify this house. Hey, I said God will glorify this house. In the name of Jesus, the sheep of Tarshish, they will come first. They will bring your sons from afar. They will bring silver and gold with them. In the name of Jesus. Oh, sons of foreigners, they will build up your walls. Oh, they are kings, they will minister to you. In God's favor, he will have mercy upon you. I wish somebody can say a better amen. Your gates shall be perpetually open. They will not be shut day or night. Oh, the wealth of Gentiles they will bring up to you. They will come with their kings in procession. Everyone who refuse to serve you, they will perish for your sake. Every nation that rise against you, they will be ruined for your sake. The glory of America shall come to you. This sanctuary, God will beautify this sanctuary. And I'm talking about CFKC. God will beautify CFKC. The sons of those who afflicted you, they will come bowing down to you. All those who despise you, they will prostrate at your feet. Come on, come on, say a better amen. Wherever you have been forsaken, it is possible because of what you are going through for people not to reckon with you. Oh Lord have mercy. Wherever you have been forsaken and hated, so that nobody went through you. God will make you an eternal excellence. He will make you a joy of many generations. You will drink the milk of the Gentiles. You will drink the milk of the kings. In the name of Jesus, instead of bronze, God will give you gold. Instead of iron, he will bring you silver. Instead of wood, he will bring you bronze. Instead of stone, he will give you iron. He will make your officers to be at peace. In your family, you'll be at peace. In your business, you'll be at peace. Anywhere you go in the world, you'll be at peace. Violence will not occur around you. Oh Lord, I wish somebody that understand what I'm saying. Violence will not occur around you. In the name of Jesus, you will not be wasted. You will not be destroyed. Your wall will be walls of salvation. Your gates shall be gates of praise. The sun will no longer smite you by day. Oh, the brightness of the moon will give you light. God will be to you an everlasting light. He will bring to you your glory. He will bring to you your guide. In the name of Jesus, listen to this. Your sun shall no longer go down. Ah, your sun will no longer go down. Your moon will now withdraw itself. God will be your everlasting light. Anyone who can say a good amen to this. Your days of money is over. Your days of crying is over. Your days of depression is over. Your days of sorrow is over. Listen to this right now. Look at verse 22. I don't know where you are in this. But it says a little shall become a thousand. <laughs> uh, let me try and explain that. It is possible to be a parent and you have only one child. 
But that one child is more than 10. That's what I'm talking about. Because some people have 10. And you can't count any out of the 10. I'm talking about whatever you think is little. A little amongst you, you will become a thousand. I said what was small before will be more than enough later. And finally, I love the last word there. God says, I will hasten it in his time. Whatever you are believing God for, he will hasten it for you. He will fast track it for you. He will do it quickly. He will do it without delay. He will do it without delay. In the name of Jesus, next year you are coming back with thanksgiving. Oh, your story will change. Your story will change. Your countenance will change. If you believe that, say a good amen. Say a wonderful amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Let us be seated. Let us be seated. My God. My God. I have seen God turn things around in people's lives. I'm telling you. I have seen God turn things around in people's lives. Before we started JHB, <laughs> there was a day I was going to preach midweek service and my children were crying. Mm. They were ages 6 and 4. So right now they are 31 and 29. They were crying. And I was going to preach. And one of the members walked in. Came to church early. I said, Pastor, your children are crying. Why are they crying? I said, why don't you ask them? Yeah. So he went and he asked him. Midweek service started at 7. This guy came at 6 p.m. My children have not eaten all day. They have not eaten all day. From morning till 6. If you have a 6 year old, maybe you understand what I'm talking about. He said, can I go and buy food for them? He said, why not? When they came back, they came back with happy meal. One dollar, 35 cents. For two of them, two dollars, 70. I couldn't afford it. I will never forget till the day I die. That experience. Because God taught me a lesson. Because one year before that time, I had come to America on vacation. Stayed with my wife. Spent 10 days. I spent $5,000. A year after, I was going to preach in church. And I, a pastor, I could not afford three dollars three dollars the day one of my sons was getting married and he was walking to the I was just crying I remember three dollars my God I said three dollars three dollars why am I telling you today I don't want you to write off yourself because of today. Ah. There is greater glory ahead. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. The same boy who I could not buy one dollar thirty five cents for is expecting his own son. I say, ah, ah. I said, God, is this how you are? 
Is this how you are, God? I never knew he would favor me this way. I did not know he will favor me this way. I had no clue he will favor me this way. He has favored me. I can only say thank you. I want to challenge everyone here. Under the sound of my voice, you are too. Because Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 8. Look at verse 11. Go to verse 11, please. Go to verse 11. This is God telling Israel. He said, may the God of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous than you are. And bless you as he has promised. I'm not here to wind you up. Honestly, I'm here to challenge you to enter another level of glory. That's what I'm here to do. To enter what? Another level of glory. Level of glory. I'm looking for people that will join me this morning. To sow a seed of a thousand dollars to this ministry. <laughs> I've been without three dollars, though. So I know the value of a thousand. I know. I know. There are times, or there was a time when they were selling the Volkswagen Beetle in Nigeria for three thousand. Some people could not buy it. But today they are buying 15 million for vehicles. I want you to know that if you keep on living, ah, you know, when you go out to a public place, you see, most times they have glass doors. It's in my hotel. And once you are walking towards it like this, it remains closed until you are so near. All of a sudden, it does what? It opens up to you. If you keep on walking in life, life will open to you. I'm telling you. So if you are one of those people, I just want you to rise on your feet, come forward, I'm going to pray, and I will take my seats. This is not a titan offering. This is a seed. You are sowing a seed into greatness, into greatness, into greatness. I have seen this. I have seen this. I have walked it. I have touched it. I have tasted it. And I'm telling you the truth. I have tasted it. I have seen it. I have seen it. I have seen it. I told you about that couple. When they joined our church, they were fighting every day. All of a sudden, they set up this business. Last year, at the anniversary, Pastor oh my God, the guy and the wife came to me. They gave me two checks. One check was for the church, for the anniversary. It was $30,000. They gave me another check. They said, it's your birthday. It was $5,000. I knew how they struggled when they came. And I also could, could, could understand because me too, I struggled. I just told you ah, I couldn't buy ah, ah, McDonald's. $2.70. Yeah. Yeah. Some people, are, you are sitting there, you are watching. Has God not made you 10 times better since you joined this church? Are you at the same level? Are you at the same level? You know yourself. You know yourself. I'm telling you, this is something we will not carry the way, the way we are going. <laughs> Praise God. I have gone through things in life that I understand that money does not matter again. When you have gone through cancer twice, you realize that your money is useless. Because if that cancer takes you, you are gone. And that's it. And that's, I have gone through it. So I understand what I'm talking about. Money? Ah! You no, know, no, it's nothing now. What matters to me now? Is achieving destiny. Because any day, it can be time. It's achieving destiny. And I can't get to heaven and I'll be telling stories. You are still there. You are watching online also. You are watching online. You are watching online. You can do this. 
You can do this. I'm telling you, you can do this. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? I want you to talk to God. For those of us who are here, you are also watching online. Maybe you are joining us. I want you to talk to God today. Talk to him. Talk to him. Ask him that let there be a remarkable difference in my life. Show me. Let me experience your glory. Your glory. Your glory. Because you are going to testify. You are going to testify. Let me experience your glory. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Lord, we stand before you. Myself and your people and those of you who are watching online. As we give the seed, almighty God, let this be the minimum we'll be in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Father, let us taste your glory. Let us touch your glory. Let people see your glory upon us. In the name of Jesus. By this time next year, ah, Jehovah, I pray. Ooh, let money meet money in our hands. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. Out of all these people, let testimonies come forth. And let our name be glorified. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Please, you can go back to your seats. For those of us who are sitting or you are still watching online, I also want you to challenge yourself and give your best seat this afternoon. Your best seat also this afternoon. It's time for us to give our tithes and our offerings. It's time for, it's time for us to give our tithes and our offerings also. It's time for us to give our tithes and our offerings. It's time for us to give our tithes and our offerings. There are many platforms that we can give. You know, I believe they will show us all the platforms online. By now, we should know them. Amen. So, these are the platforms. Givelify, PayPal. You can do that as well. You can do. Thank you for watching. We believed you were blessed by this message. If you would like us to pray along with you, or you have a testimony or questions, please send it to info at cfkcenter.org. If you would like to make a donation to the ministry, you can please do so through the PayPal or Giveify app. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and God bless. continues you want to give your offerings there are both around you if you are not doing it by electronics and while they are ministering it's okay to stand up and dance and rejoice also all right let's go <laughs>
shout hallelujah. Come on, you can shout with that shout hallelujah. The person that has the 5,000 we are looking for for next center, please understand you are in the service. Uh, God bless you in Jesus' name. We have been praying for you. We have been waiting for you. I'll be following you home today to pray on your home uh, in Jesus' name. Who is that person? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, Titan, step forward. Let's pray over you. Five million, that's what I said. Five thousand million. <laughs> uh, anything you hear from me is in millions. Five thousand million. Whatever that, whatever that means. Five thousand million. Mm, sorry. Sorry, I didn't talk correctly. I apologize. Sorry for the insult. Very sorry. Lord, your people are here with their tights to honor you as your word requires. We honor you with our substance and with the fruit of our labor. We have brought you your portion. Holy and righteous Father, have respect for us and our givings in the name of Jesus Christ. Use our lives and this giving to move your work forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that concerns your people through disobedience, let heaven attend to them in the name of Jesus Christ. The rest of your people have given their offerings. Some have sown seed. Let the bread of heaven breathe life over the economy in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you are now in your economy, go make you a thousand much more better in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Let's drop our tights. Thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, church, let us sweat for our hands towards the altar. Can you rise up? Let's pray for pastor. Come on, stand up. Come on, stand up. We have a few things to quickly do before we let you go. Stretch for your hands. Come on, stretch your hands towards the altar. Let's speak over him. Let's speak over him. Let's ask that the anointing of God will not run dry. Let's ask that the glory will be on the increase. There will be no decrease. It will be on the increase in the name of Jesus. Let's ask that the almighty God, the healing and deliverance he has given to him shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Let's ask God to make his healing permanent and this affliction will never return back again in the name of Jesus. Let's ask God to bless the home, bless his family and ministry, bless the coming grandson in the name of Jesus. Bless the mother, bless the father and let all be well with them. Ask the Lord to move Jesus as bottom forward and in greater glory. Thank you, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please say better and louder. Amen. Amen. Please take your seat. Let me make three or four announcements. Then we're going to the Thanksgiving. Somebody say Thanksgiving. Please, this is an annual Thanksgiving to thank God for this work in the last 22 years. Bring your thanksgiving offering, but most importantly, bring your heart to thank God for the church and to thank God for us also. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. First of all, tomorrow morning, uh, we're supposed to start our praise feast in the evening tomorrow. But throughout this week, because the church office is closed with activities, our praise time moved to 5 a.m. So there will be no prayer throughout this week in the evening. So we only keep the 5 a.m. prayer. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that means tomorrow morning, Thanksgiving, up to Friday. Then evening, uh, by God's grace, uh, we can use that to rest and get ready. We return back to activity next week, Sunday. 
And by the grace of God, by the time you are returning, you are returning in greater glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'll be returning in greater glory. Very important. Then number two, let me appreciate those who have started to respond to the charge that we give you um, for the closing of the new property. I was supposed to have gone there today, but the realtors couldn't work a few things out because the current owners have their stuff everywhere and they are afraid that if all of us come there, some things may be broken and then uh, we don't have an insurance over the property yet. So they will get ready for us people to go there by moving things of the way so that we can have passage right now because they are still operating their business in that particular location. So that's why we can't go today because they couldn't get it done over the weekend. So we will let you know when that is going to happen. But meanwhile, our closing date is end of November into middle of December. There's no clear date yet. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Come on, clap. Can you put the video on the screen, please? Now, the closing for closing, we are required to bring to the table $1.5 million for the new building. In that new building, by the grace of God, uh, I know the challenges you face this morning to get a parking spot. Well, if you are the 5,000 person to attend service, you will still have a parking spot where we are going. You understand? So if you are parked over 3,000 car and you're only 3,001, you will still have a place to park. That's our large space God is taking us. I thought somebody would clap their hands very well for Jesus. Come on, clap, 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 clap. And the challenge we gave us, and many have responded, including my family, that if we can get people between now and end of November who can give a seed of $20,000 to help us to reach our goal. Families have responded. The family said they'll give 100000 and the family 50000 And many families, they will commit to 20000 or more. And you know what we also pledge? We pledge, by the grace of God, $120,000 ourselves by God's grace. So we want to encourage you, we want to beg you uh, to let's begin to redeem those pledges if you're in a position to do so. Why? This encourages the bank to know that the fundraising is going well. Even though they know we have a, uh, a timeline for end of November, but it's good for us to start to bring those things in. So as it goes to the same bank that we're financing us, they see these things going up. And I want to pray to God that this, your hands that have lifted to support this work, God will not let your hand borrow ever in the name of Jesus Christ. I told some of the leaders and those in the building committee, this is the last borrow we are going to in this church to buy a building. The next one by God's grace, even if it's $50 million, the money will come cash from our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. So please, let's make sure we start to redeem our pledges. If you want to identify with us what you want to give, please let us know also. Let us know also in the name of Jesus. Let us know by the grace of God. And finally, I want to appreciate all of you. You know we have a target. Between now, to be able to operate in the new place, we need 300 volunteers. How many volunteers? 300. You may not understand until you get there. To make us function in a service. And we are recruiting right now aggressively. Because by the time you enter the children's department, it's not a place where you just open the door. The door open for you. The door will just open for you. You do like this, iPad comes up on the desk of the children. <laughs> Praise God. When I thought my throat was uh, scratchy, if it is a new place, now just press a button, water will come out and I'll be able to drink water. Easily, like I need them to give me water. So we need people to help us <laughs> to operate in the place. Please, at the end of service, please meet any of the pastors. Please meet any of the pastors. You see what I came out now? You see what I came out? <laughs> this is a manual machine we are talking about, about an automatic machine. Now, listen, friends, uh, we need people to sign up with the pastors. Please, 300 is our goal. 
I want young people, age and middle aged people, the people to say, our citizens, everybody must be able to work for God. And Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. And like we said, we are giving you one year ahead of time for official opening of the new place. We trust God we are going to move in between uh, April and May, depending on how fast we can do the remodeling. We start using the place, but by, Oct by October, by God's grace, next impact convention, there will be official opening of the place. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. And by God's grace, your grandfather, my pastor, will be with us next year. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus. How many of us want Mr. Olaba to join us next year also? Hallelujah. So get ready for Thanksgiving. There's one more thing we are going to do, but we want to go to Thanksgiving. And lead us to Thanksgiving with the praise generation is Minister Bidemi Olaba. Let's clap for Jesus. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's clap, 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 clap. Praise generation. Hallelujah. Stand short. Let's stand. Lift Hallelujah. Up your Lift up your hands to him. Lift your seat to him. Lord, as we thank you for your goodness over this walk in the last 22 years. Let our appreciation, thanksgiving and dancing find admiration to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. One second, one second. Please, today's eye connect is different. We brought you fresh food. So there's a food truck outside cooking food for you right now. That's food truck. Now, the way to do it is that so that everybody can eat like special guests. Everybody's a special guest. Someone say, I'm a special guest. And I say, meal ticket you'll be giving, a meal ticket, that meal ticket, all you need to do, they give it to you, go to it, all that anything you want. Filet mignon, ribeye, top and bottom sirloin, sea bass, and whatever you want, order. If they don't have it, please ask Pastor Mommy why they don't have it. <laughs> Praise God. Lift your hands and give Jesus thanks. We thank you, Father Lord, as we praise your name, Lord. We ask, O oh God, through our praises, you will increase your work. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Can you just lift those hands to heaven? Before we begin to dance and misbehave in the presence of God, I don't just want us to sing this song. Just lift your hands to heaven. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. I wanted to be sincere about it. And all he has done for me. My very soul shall shout hallelujah. Praise God. song you love to sing for 60 seconds just express yourself to him as daddy was ministering the other time I oh my goodness the Lord was just flashing to me different pictures I remember the same boy I was squatting with someone squatting in their brother's boy's quarters 
I squatted onto the level that they had to send me out because I was squatting. They sent me to another place. I still went there to go and squat in an uncompleted building. I'm talking about a story that is no more than five years. But more few go for a long look here. More few go for a long look here. More few go for a long look here. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> the boy you helped has come to worship you. The boy you raised has come to worship you. If I begin to share stories, but I give God the glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at your neighbor. Say, my neighbor. Ah, shala basa handi. Allah mo yon logo. Touch him. Say, neighbor, me. Ah. Allah. Alagbara lo lorun mi Alagbara ni Jesu mi Oba sola ya tabu ni kawo Koma so si oshe I didn't know that I would be here Ashaba si when I used to follow my pastor to Redemption Camp many years ago to go and pray every Thursday for about six years, I didn't know. It didn't look like it. It didn't look like it. When daddy sang that song, I was just crying. I never knew you will honor me this early. From where to where? I never knew you will honor me this way, Kabiasi. I never knew you will honor me this way as you honor me this way. I say, Thank you, Jesus. Some of you will not understand. You know, you are born in America, you were born here, you know. If I come by, let one be. I was born into a CSC church. When they say a shami, there's a way we say amen. Why shami a conle? I receive grace for self control. Touch your neighbor, say my neighbor. In the presence of God, you see, we can never be grateful on the same level. We just talk. Muti tau giri kito law school. Yeah. When I was in my primary school. Touch him. I said, Neighbor, me. Wam me. Wam me. Neighbor, wam shake ye. Jiggy, jiggy. Wam me. Say, my neighbor. By the time God is true with me. I will support your business. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Are you ready to dance? We are ready. Are you sure you are ready? We are ready. That's okay. Are you sure you are ready? Tell your neighbor, say, my neighbor. Give me space, give me space, give me space. I never knew you will honor me this way, Nadi. I never knew you will honor me this way. As you honor me, do 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 do. Thank you, Jesus. I never knew. I never knew you will honor me this way. I never knew you will honor me this way. I never knew you will honor me this way. As you honor me this 
dancing partner. Hold your neighbor fast, fast. The Bible says, I and the children that the Lord has given unto me, we are for what? See, lately. If you know you are for saints and wonders, jump up and shout, Yay! Yeah! Hola. Some of you are not jumping. Oh, my. Oh, my. For so gay. What? I never said, Be body, yeah. Ah. If you know you are here, you are for signs and wonders. Lift your hands to heaven. Jump up and shout, Jesus. Grab a neighbor. Grab your neighbor. Grab somebody. Say neighbor, me. Shake him on a shake here. Say my neighbor. Are you ready? People at the back, make sure you drag your neighbor to the front here. Yeah. Oh yeah, make way, make way, make way. No time. Invite your neighbor to the front. Make sure you are drag. Ah, bros, now you are the drag since now. Are you ready? Make sure you invite your neighbor to the front. Are you ready? Make sure you invite your neighbor to the front. Oh, yes, yeah, so okay. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Invite your neighbor, invite them.
Lift your hands. Shout hallelujah. You know it's just because we have to finish this service. But next year, please, we are going to dance and dance and dance by God's grace. Lift your hands to him. Personally, tell him thank you. Tell him, Lord, I'm very grateful. Say, Lord, I am grateful for all you have done for me. Make it personal to him. For the battles you have fought for me. For the message you have shown to me. For my lot in life. For unseen victories. Invisible victories. For building your church. So that the gate of hell has not prevailed. We thank you Jesus. We give you praise and thanks. Oh we appreciate you Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we are grateful, Lord. Please, we are going to say sound amen as pastor pray over us before we close. Lord, we thank you. Only you alone will have started and ended with us. Thank you for your blessing of our lives. I pray for you today that in blessing, God will bless you. Yeah. In multiplying, God will multiply to you. Yeah. I pray for you today, you will not be limited in life. Yeah. In every area of your life, you will not be limited. Yeah. Everywhere you go, you will meet with the favor of God. Yeah. Jesus had favor with God. You will have favor with God. He had favor with man, you have favor with man. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you today, you will increase in wisdom. You will increase in understanding. You will increase in knowledge. In the name of Jesus, you will not be afraid. In the name of Jesus, nothing will dismay you. Nothing will confound you. Nothing will confuse you. In the name of Jesus, with clarity of mind, God will satisfy you. In the name of Jesus, you will not bury your children. Your parents, they will not bury you. In the name of Jesus, everywhere you go, you will be favored. In the name of Jesus, people will call you blessed. You will be a blessing. In the name of Jesus, I pray for whosoever can say the best amen today. You will not be stranded in life. Oh, I say you will not be stranded in life. You will be celebrated. Your family will celebrate you. People that don't know you, they will celebrate you. The state of Minnesota, you will be celebrated. In the name of Jesus. Nothing will be too difficult for you. The Lord God Almighty, He will guide you. He will surround you as in a hedge. Sickness will not be your portion. Disease will not be your portion. Poverty will not be your portion. Depression will not be your portion. Failure will not be your portion. I wish somebody can say a better amen. Listen to this. For what God will do in your life, people will envy your pastor. Yeah. The Bible says that the Philistines envied Isaac because of his blessing. Until you are envied, the, the blessing has not gotten there. Oh, may God bless you with the blessing of Isaac. The blessing of Abraham. The blessing of Jacob. In the name of Jesus, may time work for you. I said, may time work for you. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has not been enough. In the name of Jesus. 
may it become more than enough for you. As you go out there, I declare to you, you are more than conquerors. I said you are more than conquerors. When next I see you, I will see you at the top. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. I said when next I see you, I will see you at the top. So shall it be. Father, we thank you. We bless and we exalt your name. Lord, I pray for Pastor Shola today and Pastor Jumoke. Your word says that will be a thousand times more than our fathers. I pray that this scripture will work for you. A thousand times more than me. In the name of Jesus. More wisdom. More understanding. More revelation. More favor. Nothing will be difficult for you. Ministry will not be difficult for you. Your word will not fall to the ground. You will not be put to shame. Your children, they will serve God. Your children's children, they will serve God. In the name of Jesus, you will continually be a joy of many generations. In the name of Jesus, people will want to associate with your name. In the name of Jesus, many will be lifted up because of you. Because of their connection to you, they will be lifted up. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. This is your church. Grow your church. Enlarge this ministry. Let your hand be easily be seen in this ministry. In the name of Jesus. And for the dark sanctuary, the next step, receive grace for it. Receive grace for it. No sleepless night for you. Everything that is needed, may God bring them to you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we exalt you. Come on, lift up your hands and just thank him. Just appreciate him. Appreciate him. Come on, you are watching online. Appreciate God. He has done this much for us. Yes. He has done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. I say now. I He's done so much for me, and I cannot tell it all. Everybody say now. Let's clap. It's your brother. Let's clap for Jesus, everyone. Pastor was just telling me 
He said, that your son is a good man. So I said, why? And he said, every time we are celebrating here, a monthly, he flies from Houston to come home every time. He said, how many people do that? Please give Moses a big hand, everyone. Come on, let's, let's appreciate him. We launch it briefly today, but during the praise festival, we launch it officially. So get your early edition. It's ten dollars. Instead of doing ten dollars, let's double it for him. We have a few copies. Please let's buy them. And Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. And finally, before I let you go to eat, one of our first members of this church lost a mom in Nigeria. I want to pray for her, Sister Augustina Ogo. Let's appreciate Augustina. I'm sure you are surprised that she's come, please. This is the first children's teacher we had in this church. The first one. The first one. The first children's teacher ever in this church. This is their director. Yeah. She retired and she not joined those who are cleaning the building. But she's refired back now. Refired back. Sweat forth your hands towards her. That the God of comfort will comfort her and the family. That the Lord will provide all they need. That as this funeral is taking place, that God will grant everyone going journey mercy. And that the hand of Jesus will rest upon them. Evil shall not befall them. Their joy shall be full. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. God comfort you. Let's appreciate our one more time, church. Please join me to give the praise generation and praise band a big hand. Big, big, big hand. Please give our building facilities uh, department big, big, big hand. Come on. How about those in the children's church? Give them a big hand. Now give yourself a big hand. How about our brother, Minister Bidem, give him a big, big, big hand. All right. Give Grandpa a big hand. The pastors, big, big hand, come on. I'll give a pastor. All right. Give pastor mommy a big hand. All right. God bless you. <laughs> All right. Give me a big hand. been prayed on the food is sanctified
children have a different plan outside. Please make sure you have tickets. The brothers, the brother here is having ticket. Oh, okay, we are outside at the door. Tickets are only for adults. You cannot get for somebody else. You only get it for yourself. Wonder, wonder, wonder. 